Princess here before us, behold, 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 a princess by cometh, behold, behold, a princess here, a princess here, see. Hello everybody, my name is Tony Fifley, man, and, um, I, I, I hope you can forgive me for that, just, um, it's for the sake of the joke, you understand, right? Yeah, she understands. Uh, anyway, so, um, so I, uh, before I start this reaction, I just want to say a couple of things. One, this, this week is incredibly crazy for me right now like it is amazing I can actually find time to record this reaction because this is the last week of my exam uh, my last test is in fact tomorrow if this uh, if this video comes out the day before that um, so yeah I will uh, that also means that my uh, episode 11 reaction if it comes out on this Sunday I mean uh, Saturday that will also be delayed so yeah just so you know but anyway, let's get on to the episode. So today is actually, um, I have to excuse for a screw up I made last time because I said that was episode 10, but this is episode 10. So, um, yeah, just, they don't work together, but, um, <clears throat> so episode 10 of season five, princess spike, which explains a little weird intro I did there, but, um, hmm. So he gets power. I, I can imagine it's because of like Twilight needs an off day or something. So she gives the roles like to Spike like, here, Spike, just take the things for the day, okay? Oh, I'm gonna like, I'm just completely frazzled. Um, and I've heard general kind of negative reactions to this episode. Like I haven't seen any reactions, not seen any reviews, but from general comments I've seen on the internet and from my friends. I can tell this is not a very loved episode. Well, there are apparently some who like it, but apparently very few and far between. But, what the heck, that's a... Uh, I tend to be very positive. Shut up, everyone who's thinking or saying it. Shut up. But, <clears throat> let us uh, just get going, shall we? I've got me, me bottle of water, so I have be refreshed. So let's get ready. For My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 5, Episode 10, Princess Spike. In 3, 2, 1, go. Alright then. Let us see what is going on here, shall we? And we are in Cantort. Ooh. Is this another festival? I feel so bad for Silver Quill. Like, uh... Griffins! It's a convention! <laughs> Wait, do they, have, do they have conventions in Equestria? Luna! To the Grand Equestria Pony Summit! The Grand Equestria Pony you Summit. You delegates have traveled far and wide to represent your cities as we seek to celebrate and learn from all the unique places that make up our wonderful land of Equestria. At tonight's welcome reception, Princess Look at Kate Twilight, she has facts on her eyes. beautiful friendship statue made up of gemstones from each of your home cities. Ooh. Wow! Don't let Spike get near that. He will devour it. Now I'd like to turn things over to the one who organized the summit, Princess Twilight Sparkle. Maybe my prediction wasn't too far off. Like, she looks really With tired. Delegates from over 50 cities attending three days of conferences, receptions, and meetings. This is the largest... Yeah, it sounds pretty much like a convention. Yet. And let me tell you, putting it all together has led to more than one sleepless night. We're so excited to have you here and to learn more about life all across this great land of ours. I like how Griffin's clap. Assistant Spike would like to say a few words. Um, hello every pony. I'm here to help any way I can. So if there's anything I can do for any of you, we love you Princess Twilight. We love all the princesses. <laughs> <laughs> Is, are you sure that they are not just 
showing how it is to be a celebrity at any cons because seriously that is generally how any convention is in a nutshell. <laughs> we love you Tara Strong! We love you Ashley! We're showing the Lancy! Hey! Bring up a copy! Give big back lines! Do you want to read my fan fiction? Hey! Say this line that you not don't remember because it's been years since you said it! It really humors me for some reason! I'm not fencing or anything. So Spike is a bit sad that he doesn't get to- MY! Spike? Little help? Oh, Aw, Cadence. Spike, we need you. Of course. What can I do? Whoa. Wait, I yeah, was right. Yeah. Twilight is going to be oh, so tired that Spike will take over her position for I the day. Just... Jason <sighs> Thies and Jim Miller. Nap. Napkin. Tell the delicate doll. She's been awake three straight days preparing for the summit. We need to Aww. make sure she gets some rest. Today. Oh, books. She'll never be the only able to ones attend the welcome in this condition. Can I count on you to see to it that she isn't disturbed? I promise, I won't let oh. you down. So he doesn't have to take over her duties, just make sure that... Okay, I, that, that, I can imagine that being a fun episode. And now she, he stands guard. Why are you doing it with a lamp? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a... Okay, never mind. I like how... Am I? Mine pony. Perfect. But... Oh. Is he going to freak out? Oh no. Not on my watch. Uh, Spike, it's just a bird. Uh, excuse me? Can you keep it down a little? Oh no! It's a bird! You can't tell birds to stay quiet. I'll give you birds some birds. Anything. Just please. That looks kind of adorable. <laughs> hey! Twilight is a Disney princess. I can't believe that worked. Hmm. Just close the window if the sound is such a problem. Oh, is it so loud that it can... Oh, okay, this time it actively disturbs her. Okay, before it was just a bird doing a bird thing, but this actively... This actively, like, uh, bothers Twilight, so I can, I can see how he has a reason to go there. There's sort of an important diplomatic summit kind of thingy going on, and it involves a princess needing to sleep, and, uh... Uh, maybe you could move your game somewhere else? Uh, the princess thanks you for your understanding! Excuse me, do you have to do this right now? Oh, that's why his no. eyes were a bit red. Are those dragon sneeze trees? Dragon sneeze trees? That's oh, incredibly... These are too top heavy. Wouldn't take much to bring these beauties down. Hello, Can't Peter New. Just wait a few hours? Sorry, it's a public hazard. I got my orders. Well, oh, sorry, man. We just have too. to go down the streets, the otherwise it'll just fall down over all the buildings in the city. Twilight. I'm not sure what kind of accent that was. Princess Twilight? Oh, why didn't you say so? Gee, I reckon they'll keep a few more hours. Good thing I got the princesses on my side. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, come on! Excuse me! Excuse me, sir! I really need you to stop right now! Oops. Let me guess, the noise? Sorry, but we can't have a broken water main. What? You couldn't do this yesterday? Hey, pal, I'm just trying to make sure everything runs smooth for the summit. You don't have to yell! There is no summit without Princess Twilight, and she needs things to be kept quiet around here. So if you don't mind, I... All right, all right, if that's how she wants it. But if something happens, it ain't my fault! That is true, Spike. If that water thing, uh, if that water pipe becomes a problem, then you're the one to blame. No offense, Spike. Hmm. I'll bet that something teeny weeny is going to wake up Twilight. And Princess Spike deserves a little reward. <laughs> Princess Spike. <laughs> Right here. I'll you use something, all right? I work forever on this station. I know I have one. Uh, hi, uh, can I help you? My friend here, the distinguished pony from up Manhattan and I are, are in a bit of a pickle, and we need the Princess Twilight to resolve it. 
Uh, can you talk a little quieter? And maybe come back later? Oh, sure now. Gosh, I wish we could, but uh, we're both supposed to give speeches about our local economies in five minutes. And we've been booked in the same hall. I had the room first. And let's be honest, my speech is more important. Point of order there, sir, but I think you'll find that my speech is the more important Why is she one, packed like know? she's coming from the well, north? Yours like, is gonna have a lot of unhappy delegates north in New on York your boobs or something? unless we get a ruling from Princess Twilight right now. Okay, so this is actually... Okay, how is she going to resolve uh, this? Let me see what I can do. Oh, Twiley. <laughs> Tara must have fun in this episode. Like, all she had to do was making snoring noises. Oh, is he going to impersonate her? Scheduling? Oh, uh, yeah. Two delegates have speeches booked in the same hall. What do I do? Okay, no problem. Just put the hay in the apple and eat the candle. Hmm? Huh? She's completely away. Oh, I need an answer. But Twilight can't even At least he, he tried like to explain oh it to her and not like hide it or something. And like that. Like he actively tries to see what she, what he can do. Well, what did she say? She picked me, right? Hey, hey, hey. Let's not be too hasty there, good sir. I got a feeling she went with me. Hey, <laughs> if she didn't pick me, it ain't hard to see that as an insult to all of Manhattan. You know what I'm saying? And it sure you know what I'm saying, man? Something like a scheduling issue Why can't you go to Celestia? Oh, yeah, oh all right, right because the Twilight so, organized it all. Okay, that What did the princess say? Come on now, spit it out. Um, she is she sleeping? That, well, she said that she she wants you to share? share it. If that's what the princess wants, what are you gonna do? The princess is always right. Listen, now, there you no go. hard feelings, it's just not about you and I me, right? No I mean, this is... Oh! It was that easy! Now, okay! That's more important things. <laughs> Why do you keep all that? At least he gets to eat. At least. Combining those two talks was a disaster! The hall was overcrowded and the speakers just shattered over each other! Huh? Oh no, no, Why he's going to create a bad reputation a for Twilight! Oh no! Oh my goodness! She is sleeping! She can't do anything! <laughs> But I guess they wouldn't take it. Right, let's see. I was really looking forward to the don't spend all your bet speech. But when I went into the hall, a pony had taken my seat. A pony who used to be my friend. Wait, he had taken your seat? What? <laughs> Big deal. Why don't you just... No offense, but I don't need some random dragon's opinion. I, I want to hear what Princess Twilight... Random dragon? <sighs> Bitch, he will burn your freaking afro thing off. Plus, he is the number one assistant of the princess. I think he has some kind of like... Uh, the princess says no friendship should end over a seat. You should forgive your friend. <gasps> of course! Oh, the princess is so wise. Oh. Well, I do guess that he has been with Twilight for a long time, so he... Think it came from Twilight. Oh... I can imagine how people might find this unlikely. Hey, Matilda! Oh, he's going to screw everything up and they will all think that Twilight... Oh, my dear. I feel like those two are a reference to something. Ah... Well, I like it so far, but I can imagine how things can go horribly, horribly wrong. Oh, that's an awesome Griffin design! Hey, Colgate! It must be awkward standing like on two steps. Why were you there so, again? How Principates! can Princess Twilight be of service? Well, as host city, the Cantalot delegation mm. feels it's only right that we should get passes to every meeting and party, yes? Well, that doesn't seem fair. I mean, Princess Twilight doesn't think that seems fair. Eh, uh, yes, yes. Very well. It was worth a try, though, wasn't it, old chap? Hmm? Oh, but this I can imagine, like, Twilight... Twilight is probably going to be a bit angry at him because she, she he's taking up. her position. Or but she... I can't really see a backside to this. Like, she she can't really blame him because when he tried to seek her help, she was mumbling yeah, in her sleep. So he couldn't really... He doesn't really have any other choice. Have to think about anything but the reception. Or, well, he could always point her to the other princesses. 
I don't know. Uh, says here you have a meeting with Princess Twilight. Uh, your fur, she wanted me to prep her on all the different gemstones in the Citizens of Equestria statue before the reception tonight. Okay, go ahead. Say that again, I couldn't hear you. Um, well, I'd rather, um, tell the princess directly. Well, if it helps, you can call me Princess Spike. Oh god, eyelashes! No, 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 it, it, it's alright. Uh, the princess asked me to take care of a few things for her. That's why I came to find you. Uh, if you say so. The princess says so. Mm. Her list okay. was, uh, her list was so adorable. Uh, he looks. He seems like he has more than four more four you? Years. But I'm supposed to be briefing Princess Twilight on the progress with the water main. I speak for the princess. Oh wow! Uh, can I start fixing it again? I'm getting a little worried, to be honest. Actually, yeah. Twilight still needs a rest. And her no noise policy is still in effect for a few more. Spike, hours. when Sorry. a professional road worker tells you that something needs to be fixed, hey, Spike, it needs to fix it. What's going on? Uh, you know, just setting them up and knocking them down. What do you mean? Not only have I kept things quiet so Twilight could sleep, I also took care of all her afternoon meetings so she won't have to worry about them when she wakes up. Are you sure she'd want you doing that? There are hey, so many exactly. things to keep track of at this summit. Nah, uh, don't worry. I got it covered. I know Twilight so well, it's easy to make decisions like her. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for keeping Twilight's stress level down. As long as that's the real reason you're doing it. Well, why else would I be doing it? You're not enjoying speaking for Twilight a little bit? Mm. Enjoying it? <laughs> no way! The only things I'm doing by order of the princess are for the good of the summit. Oh, Spike, his episodes are, ah, for goodness sake, the fingers, the freaking fingers. <sighs> By order of the princess. Okay, here it all comes. <laughs> By order of the princess. It is a... Are you serious? <laughs> Oh my goodness, Spike. Life is good. I am trying to like you a lot. I really am. Like It sure is. But I... it's also hard work, isn't it? Eh, it's not so bad. Spike, I'm concerned you might be abusing your relationship with Twilight. What are you talking about? I'm a great princess. I mean, Twilight's a great princess, and I've been working hard to help her. When two delegates had a falling out, I'm the one who fixed her friendship. I listened to that pony drone on you know her what? for 45 minutes. So I'm a rally of princess to. again, to be I honest. I a polo match away from the tower so she could sleep. And I didn't even eat that delicious-looking statue. I'm a decision-making master. <sighs> okay. So maybe I did get a little carried away making decisions. A little. It's not like anything bad happened. Hashtag water pipe, hashtag catastrophe incoming. And boom, boom, boom goes the water pipe. Oh my. I do love that sweet, sweet irony. This is unexpected. I'll go shut off the main. You get rid of the water. Wait, how can he get rid of it? Oh, <laughs> at least he's trying. <laughs> Not sure how, though. Oh, whoa! Crystal magic, that is awesome! Oy! At least he got rid of the water. Spike. At least the statue's okay. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> you could face the other way. Oh no. Oh, bless me. Spike. Oh my. What is oh, the meaning of this? Well, uh, you see. There was this polo game and how could you let a water main burst on Cadillac's most important day? Hey, oh look at me! Princess Twilight said to stop working on it. 
Well, what about these trees? I ordered them trimmed to avoid just such a situation. Well, the princess told me to stop, Bob. Why would the princess make such horrible decisions? This all could have been prevented. Please, everybody, listen! I'm so sorry all this happened! What are you apologizing for? These were Princess Twilight. Oh, at least he's he's owning up for it. I'm he's speaking! Blow my stack on Princess Twilight. I'll tell you that for now. No, 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 no! Let him speak! Let Spike speak! He's actually owning up to it! Count a lot of bad name in the eyes of Equestrian. Come on, every pony! No! Stop them! Spike, stop this yell! Say something! Yes, he he is trying. He's trying. Okay, that is a good thing to Spike. He is trying to own up to his problem. He's trying to like maybe not. I mean, wait. What is it now? There's an angry mob here that demands satisfaction. Yeah, all we need our pitches and forks. We don't want to wake the princess, do we? Wake her? What? You're telling me that she's asleep? Spike, Spike. Say something! No, just say! I've been faking princess! Princess, we must speak at what she is sleeping! She must be a heavy sleeper. She looks at least better now. Oh! I'm glad you're here, Spike. We've got a lot to do. Spike! No, stop her! Stop uh, saying! Say something! She seem well rested. I don't chat! Like don't mix! Silly. Don't make small chat! Oh god! Well, at least I got one thing right, and it was the one thing Cadence asked of me. Maybe I did um, a good job today. <laughs> That's your justification. Yeah. Yeah. Fancy pants. What's wrong? Don't play games with me, princess. You know why I'm here. Is this about the special privileges you wanted? Because this seems a little extreme. The special privileges? The last thing on my mind is special privileges. What's going on, Spike? Um. Why are you crawling out the window? We need to sleep. And Princess Cadence told me you weren't to be disturbed. And there was this bird. And well, long story short, I made a few decisions on your behalf. A few decisions? Well, maybe more than a few, but I had good intentions. Honest. Really? Until I Got didn't carried away. anymore. I'm sorry, Twilight. I guess you I get... got a little Oh, she ain't having it. it. It just felt so good to have ponies caring about my opinions on such important matters. I guess I was just enjoying feeling like a princess. Well, Spike, one of the most important things a princess can do is realize when she's made a mistake and fix it. How do I do that? You could start with them. <sighs> uh, hi there, every pony. So, I guess I owe you all a pretty big apology. It's funny, here we are at a summit that brings together ponies from all across Equestria. And all I could think about was myself. You all came here to celebrate the things that make each of our cities so unique and special. But instead of getting into the spirit of things like all of you, I used my friend's position to make myself feel good. At least he's trying. Like that that is that is maybe the best thing about this. He is trying. The Cantalot Ruby goes here, old sport. And ours goes here, don't you know? <laughs> oh he's she's Canadian! That's why she looks like she's from the north. Friendship! Does this mean you forgive me? Sure! You know, the whole idea of the statue is that when each of us plays our own small part, it adds up to something grand. Quite. Just like how all our cities make up the beautiful land of Equestria. I hereby dedicate the citizens of Equestria statue to every pony who plays their part, no matter how big or how small. Ah, <laughs> uh, bad flowers! Oh, come on! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Alrighty then. 
Okay, I can see why people don't like the episode. Um, I can clearly see where they come from with it. But, except for a few hiccups along the way, I don't really mind it. I don't know. There were plenty of opportunities for me to begin raging and raging and ranting on. But, you know, I don't mind it that much because most of it makes sense. Like he says, Spike has... Uh, uh, for so long been in the shadow of Twilight and the other princesses in general, so it... it uh, and if you think about it, the only place we has gotten any kind of recognition is in the Crystal Empire. Everywhere else, he is never mentioned, he is never spoken highly of. Only the Crystal Empire honors him as a hero. You can come with the argument that none of the other main six uh, gain the same kind of fame as Twilight, but I think it's a special case with Twilight, because she is the princess, and we and we clearly saw it in the beginning where that um, uh, where Spike tried to speak on the stage, but everyone just called out to the princess saying how much they love them. Uh, so I can clearly understand his mo his motivations behind them, and we all have to remember, he is still a baby dragon, and if we follow the timeline that has gone over these la these uh, seasons, it has only been about a year since the whole thing began. I really thought as a, he has I th I believe he has learned a lot. Like he is not afraid to speak up. That's what he learned from um. Goodness, what is that episode called? Uh, the one where Rarity find where, where he find oh, uh, Inspiration Manifestation. There, he learned uh, that he should not be afraid to speak up. Which he, <laughs> uh, in the scene with Twilight, he kind of didn't. But otherwise, he did try to speak up. He did not hold back because of fear or anything like that. Uh, I was afraid that this was going to be a... a uh, um, another spike at your service because he was he would be too eager to help and everything like that. Um, but yeah, I don't mind it. I see a lot of things in this episode make sense. I can understand why people don't like it. Like they would stress many out of hell, but I don't know. Like, do I? Okay, if when it comes to normal spike episodes, how would I see it? Like, okay. It's not an inspiration manifestation. It's not an equi in in Equestria uh, games, but it's not a spike at your service either. I think it's it's sort of the lines of Secrets of My Excess. It's a good spike episode. It's it's very in the middle. Um, when it comes to a spike episode, I will rate it about six to seven out of ten, around there. But when it comes to it as an episode by itself, as an My Little Pony episode. I think my final rating for this episode will be a 7.5 out of 10. I enjoyed it. Do I like? Do I blame others for not enjoying it? Of course not. There's the thing. There is this little thing called different opinions and takes on things. Everything is um, everything uh, at its core at what it is is in the eye of the beholder. Like. Uh, I, I, I can't really talk too highly right now because I can't really think of anything. But I can clearly understand the motives of this episode and what Spike is going through. I can un I understand it clearly. Um, but yeah. That's all I pretty much have to say. Well, Sleepy Twilight is pretty adorable. Uh, as Spike walking around as the guard was... <laughs> I figured like, he needed this kind of lance or... Oh, wait, guns that this takes any question. Either way, this was this was a, a charming little episode. I, I like it. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. My name's been Tony Five Flame, and I'll see you guys next time.